And then I went to church. What's church? I hear it's a place to go if you're a scared motherfucker. You a scared motherfucker go to church. And I was high as fuck as the priest gave Christmas mass. Oh, Christmas mass. That's the uh, the peppermint chocolate uh, flavored protein powder. It's a mass gainer. I gotcha. Gotcha. I'd rather spend an hour on stream failing. Do you think, do you honestly think the adventurers in Eorzea would look up a guide online? No. Okay, cool. Oh god. Okay. I'm actually really excited for these. Those seashells in your hair? So cute. Uh, I've made a breakthrough after uncountable days and nights. I finally hearkened to the crystal's whispers, and I must say... Uh, where are your manners? While I understand all too well your enthusiasm, I must remind you that even the most academically inclined prefer a composed recounting of events. Ah, yes, of course. My apologies, King. Being consumed by my research for so long, I am afraid I have quite forgotten how to engage in civilized conversation. Alright. In that case, perhaps we should start from the beginning with a crystal set adrift upon the ethereal tides containing the memories of a party yet unknown. They cried out for deliverance from Pandemonium, where the ancients kept volatile, uh, volatile creature uh, creations under lock and key. You yourself witnessed the power devouring the facility from within and the advent of a divine monstrosity wrought of mythic beast and powerful mage. Okay. Fortunately, your uh, martial uh, prowess and combined magical talents of your companions, Themis and Eric Thonios, was sufficient to restore order to the circles of asshole Smelos. But the greater threat remains. In the depths of pandemonium, a present, presence yet stirs its intentions and identi identity shrouded in mystery. So, um, Hesperos wasn't actually the main guy. It sounds like he may have been um, getting... Uh, corrupted or somebody was pulling his string strings um and that dude was powerful he was basically dracula from castlevania and not little bitch castlevania like really really hard old school castlevania uh that is the issue at hand is it not Since you returned to us, we worked tirelessly to discern the nature of the crystal. In the process, I detected an anomalous etheric signature which I believe arose from the memories stored within. Analysis of this pattern suggested a feeling of loss or yearning, specifically the yearning to be made whole. And indeed, ambient readings have revealed a faint but identical signature. This can only mean that another such crystal exists in our time. So what you're saying is I have to have four more battles. So my friend, I must depart to search for it forthwith by tracing the matching etheric signature to its source. I believe it will be a simple matter to find our crystal's twin. Uh, will this expedition be carried out uh, only by us or will King grace us with her protection? I'm afraid she has more pressing matters to attend to, my dear uh, Rusinoud, Ruisinoud. Um, namely, to seek out the secrets which lie nestled within Pandemonium, where this all began. Okay. From all that we have heard, it appears that time tra uh, traversal from the Crystal Tower is not fluid. That is to say, one can but travel in predetermined intervals. It would be prudent to check in on occasion in case there are any unanticipated changes. As for you, my loyal assistants, I would ask you to remain here and continue cataloging the ancient creations. Alright, let's do this, come on. You can't mean, do you intend to search for the crystal on your own? 
Why, yes, that would be the most efficient use of our resources, would it not? In fact, I have already commissioned a ship and a pilot for that very purpose. I trust you to take good care of the laboratory in my absence. So he's going to go through the ethereal sea by himself, or with some people. I apologize for that somewhat uh, abrupt departure when progress is in sight. Professor Claudine, uh, Claudine, Claudienne, uh, Claudia, there we go, uh, tends to become blind to all else. Indeed, he has been worse than usual. Whew! Um... Well, I cannot fault him for his excitement. I do wish he would spare a thought for uh, those around him. I really don't care. Hey, how you doing, Death? Heard about rum. That's fucking crazy. Um, good thing you were there, man. For reasons unknown, the crystal seems loath to be overheard. Much as it uh, spoke to you last time... None but the professor has been able to capture its ethereal yearning, which has served only to convince him that he can solve this puzzle on his own. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put it out there, guys. Um, you heard it here first. Remember when you uh, eventually find the end of this story. I think that guy, Claudia, Professor Claudia, is a sneak motherfucker, and I think he's up to some bad shit. He's going to get corrupted by the crystal. He's actually going to be the the one pulling the strings behind all of the crazy shit in Pandemonium. He's the bad guy. Calling it right now. Don't at me. Don't at me. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know. Um, I could see something kind of... Um, some twists like that. Fuck that. Fuck that bitch. What? <laughs> Oh my god, Rum, Rum's here, and she, she observed this, this whole exchange. Oh cool, my, uh, my stream finished uh, downloading. Uh, I just really wish she didn't speak like that on the stream. I'm, like, the stream's all about positivity and up, uplifting each other. It's not about bringing each other down. You could just not speak like that in my stream. That'd be great. Fuck positivity. <laughs> uh, uh, surely after some time alone, he'll come to remember how valuable we are. The search for the crystals. God, dude, I don't know what is up with my eyes. Allergies. I got like fucking watery ass eyes. Um, the search for this crystal seemed to be a simple enough matter. Let him have his adventure, and upon his return, I'm certain he'll be back to his usual self. She brought herself down. I'ma mail you a, a, a crispy treat, and you can experience it too. Um, I actually don't want to get uh, that type of high. I do pretty good. Uh, I usually don't. Uh, do any of uh do any of that before I stream because especially if it's if you're talking edibles, no they will put me out of commission. Um, the worst is uh if like you don't know it's an edible, and then you just think you're having a stroke. Yeah, wouldn't recommend it. Uh, you could do what um me and my friends used to do. We'd do edible roulette. You'd have like you'd have like a batch that was edible and then you'd have like like it, let's say it was like cookies or treats um and you put it on like a you know like the lazy susan that's like the wheel that you could put like uh like spices and shit on at your your table or whatever condiments um you put them all down and then you just you just spin the wheel and you just eat whatever you get um but wow that must be some real good shit uh, we don't condone drug use uh, on the stream either. It's all about positivity and building each other up, not making each other each other too high. Just saying. Uh, anyway, uh, it may be best to return to Pandemonium as Professor uh, Claudian suggested. 
Uh, speaking of which, I did have a request of my own to make. Traveling to Pandemonium requires you to pass through Elpis, correct? There is something I would have you investigate in my stead. While those creations confined within Pandemonium are considered to be uh, failures, I doubt that's their whole story. Barring exceptional cases, they must have been under observation in Elpis before being co uh, consigned to their shackles. And if we know anything about the ancients, it's that they would have kept thorough records of the results. What are you talking about? Delving into these records may shed light on creatures King has yet to encounter, if your theory proves correct, that is. While there are no guarantees, it certainly beats the current strategy of rushing forward blindly with only her strength to carry... Well, that's why I, I run as a warrior, even if I'm, like, fucking up every mechanic, I can still heal. Uh, for your own sake, as well as ours, please unearth what information you can. Um, we're in Illinois, so it's legal. No worries about drugs on stream. No, I'm just kidding. I know that. Wait, is this the new panda? No, no, this is a... Uh, I told you. We, we don't, it's not panda, it's grizzly. It's We're doing grizzly bear shit only. Fucking panda. <laughs> this guy thought it was a panda. No, yeah, it's pandemonium. Um, I'm pretty sure it's legal here. I don't know if uh, in Arkansas if it's uh, good for recreational use, but then I know there's also... Um, we have like Missouri and then we also have Oklahoma that's like literally like 20 minutes like the border of each um, but yeah it's a uh, pretty sure the gang's all here I've never done a drug um, you heard it here first You were on the phone? And then I went to church. What's church? I hear it's a place to go if you're a scared motherfucker. And I was high as fuck as the priest gave Christmas mass. <laughs> Oh, Christmas Mass. That's the that's the uh I I know what that is. Christmas Mass, isn't that the um it's the the peppermint chocolate uh flavored protein powder. It's a mass gainer. I gotcha. Gotcha. It's all folks. I can't go to church. Um, when I get near the doors, I start feeling hot and have to walk away. Uh, I get the same feeling when I get near a Popeyes. I get hot and bothered. Start sweating. Sweating profusely. I just know when I got home, the tamales I made were bomb. That sounds great. Oh man, tamales. If they're done right, I've had some dry ass tamales before that kind of um, made me feel like I was eating cardboard. Um, Food for Less, Ralph's Kroger, and King Supers. They're all under the same conglomerate? I didn't mean to skip that. Hesperos and Erichthonios um, were two sides of the same coin. The former looked to his mentor with absolute devotion, while the latter t looks to his father with bland, uh, oh, sorry, bland, bald hatred. Bald hatred sounds like it's an energy drink that's so potent it actually makes you lose your hair. Um, I would not expect a familiar uh, such as you to understand this. Hey. But such extreme emotions toward a single individual are quite rare indeed. Naturally, I feel uh, gratitude toward my mother and father, yet we are all equals in the larger picture of the star. This view is not unique to myself. It is more or less accepted by the way of things. Fine, I'm using... I'm using Ver, uh, Vegra. Yes, same umbrella. Uh, what? 
the fuck's a Vegra? Uh, there were many other aspects of the facility's particulars I found troubling besides. I decided the best course of action would be to go straight to the source and pose my questions to a member of the words of La Habrea. Okay. Who the fuck are you? Uh, words of La Habrea speaker. Okay, my apologies have kept you waiting, Master Themis. I understand you are conducting an investigation of pandemonium and wish to know of its origins. You said I can't use the word dick, so I'm using Vegra. Well, we don't have to, like, talk about dicks at all. Row your R's? You, oh, you want me to roll my R's? I'm not gonna do that. I'm sorry. Um, if I roll, if I start rolling my R's on stream, you're all gonna fall in love with me, and then we're gonna have to close the stream because you guys aren't gonna be able to contain yourselves. Indeed, in particular, I wish to know why exactly Pandemonium was built directly under Elpis. Damn, our character was just like, what the fuck? The facility is overseen by the words of La Habrea, after all. Why keep it so close to Elpis, whose governing body has no say in its day-to-day -day operations? You said dick ketchup. Yeah. But it was more like a, it was a colorful metaphor. At first I thought it to be simply a matter of convenience. Those creations which were deemed failures by the researchers of Elpis could be easily ushered into their new homes. Imagine my surprise when a trip to the archives revealed that many of the creations were sent from organizations beyond Elpis, including from the wards of La Habrea themselves. I'm uh, jumping to your DC to run this trial. Yeah, go for it. Given this, albeit limited, information, I cannot but feel that the Academia uh, Anitor would have, be, have been a more fitting locale. Who were they again? Is that where... Is that like the main governing body here? That's the one that looked like it was like the giant DMV, right? I think. I think I got it. Uh, what does Elpis have that cannot be found here? Before I have FC stuff. Yeah. Yeah, man. Whatever works. These are fitting uh, questions and ones we have asked ourselves many times in recent years. Alas, the nature of Pandemonium's construction does not lend itself to relocation. When first it was built, circumstances weren't as they are now. As you surmise, the majority of the creations kept within Pandemonium were sent uh, from Elpis. Okay. Yeah, as the years passed, interests changed. Failures in creations deemed too flawed even to submit to Elpis paradoxically drew the attention of Pandemonium's researchers. Hmm. That is quite the change, and in fact it almost runs counter to the facility's original purpose. Who is it that decides which creations will be uh, the subject of research? Master La Habrea. Dude, I don't want to fucking see La Habrea. I don't like that guy. That guy sucks. He's a stupid dummy face, and I can't wait to punch him in the face again, hopefully. Um, such authority is reserved for the chief uh, keyword, and he has taken it upon himself to step into that role. So if Pandemonium's resources were being misused, it would be under La Habrea's authority, correct? Uh-oh. I know not what you're suggesting, but the keywords also hold some sway within the facility. Not even Master La Habrea would be free from their scrutiny. They are duty-bound to report any irregularities as soon as possible. Although I admit, as of late, their communication has been somewhat sporadic. We but recently received a report from one of the keywords uh, stating that all is well within Pandemonium's halls. And you are certain that a keyword sent it in. I uh, sent it. Yes, of course, our communication suffered a temporary obstruction, but I can assure you that the words did their due diligence in confirming the identity of the sender. 
Thank you. This information will be helpful to my investigation. That will be all for my prime. Then I shall take my leave. While you are yet permitted to conduct your investigation freely, I must remind you that the warder's work is delicate and it would be remiss to disturb them for longer than is necessary. That guy gave us a dirty fucking look. We'll kill you too. We'll kill every single person in Pandemonium. All is well. A blatant lie, and to that we can both attest. One of the remaining keywords is most certainly in league with the party behind this. Let us hurry. I know not why our adversary sent that report, but tis plain that we must return to the pandemonium to pandemonium with haste. I bet it was the bitch that we saw that had the bowl cut and the snake in the trailer. Stupid bowl cut. Dun 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 All right, here we go. Gonna do my next raid. Gonna do my next raid. Gonna do my next raid. Uh oh, what are you doing? I knew he was bad. See, look at him. He's probably summoning, summoning a demon. Not quite. I've traced these sigils countless times, yet still I lack the strength to maintain the spell. And now time works against me, I can no longer be victim to my own ineptitude. What? Who goes there? Huh. Okay. Um, there is something to be admired in such single-minded effort, even if your methods leave much to be desired. What the fuck are you? You allowed this familiar to catch you unawares. Have you set your sights so high as to forget you walk upon the earth? I know this creature, a familiar of the f uh, Phoenix. The Phoenix, um, but that monster is locked away. That it is, in spite of the trouble I went uh, to in freeing it, I might add, begrudge me for addressing you in this ill-fitting form, if you must, but with control of your, um, of Asphodelos, wrested from my grasp to simply the best I can offer you. Okay, gotcha. Hide if you will, but mark my words, I will find you and make you pay for the chaos you've sown. Now, now, there is no need for such hostility. A calm heart stays the course. The wisdom of La Habrea, your father. Ooh, that'll get him. He'll be like, hold me back. I'm going to take him out. Um, and how would you know what wisdom he speaks? I have heard those words many times. The scolding of a tutor whose student struggled to grasp the most rudimentary lessons, seething with disgust. No. I've not told any uh, told that to anyone. Not even keyword Hesperos. That can only mean one thing: that you still insist on mocking me. Stop this farce, La Brea. At last, you move to keep up. Pity that you remain behind, nevertheless. So it's La Brea. As ever you are, always you fail to learn, fail to understand, fail to act. And though fate deigned uh, to offer an escape, you remain here. You are bereft of magical prowess and common sense both. But you need not despair. Dull though, dull <laughs> though you may be, you are yet indispensable to Pandemonium's great experiment. La Habrea's laugh haunts uh, my nightmares. You mean when Thancred does it? When he uh when they they uh fire off the Ultima weapon? 
Did you know that's how angels are supposed to look in the Bible? Oh, really? Huh. There's the uh, affection I remember. Tell me, did I ever once measure up to your expectations? Clearly not. You shall take pride in that and rejoice to see your wish fulfilled. What? What wish? Come and I shall be revealed. All this rage, this hatred is but a consequence of ignorance. Our desires align more than you know. What are you? So is this La Habrea? Uninvited guests join our reunion. It seems fortune no longer favors you. Hey, uh, I heard my FC is missing me. Yes, my FC, I took it from Teague's, but I will be back normal, uh, back to normally Final Fantasy XIV tomorrow if you want to let my children know. Oh, heard, yeah. Yeah, um, I'll let them know. Uh, I don't know if they're still on, but they were asking, uh, uh, where's that me? And I was like, he did. Do you think I have any interest in listening to your prattle, let alone bowing to your will? I am no longer a child, and my faith lies with those who have earned it. Invite when I'm ready? Gotcha. Yeah, no, that, that was, uh, that was the case. Um... They were asking about you. Just plain, there are worthier subjects to, to contend with. So, is this all La Habrea just being a little, like, like a sneaky little bitch orchestrating this whole thing because he wants to do some experiments? Because I can't stand La Habrea already, but if, like, He's just, like, manipulating this whole situation. That would be crazy. Thank you. If you had not shown up a month later, I started to think what would have become of me. So was he really just going to take out his, uh, his own son? There's got to be something going on. There's something I must tell you. I know who's behind this. There is but one person who can hold thrall over familiar creation and keyword alike. Oh my god. Is it Shadow Moses? Um, I'll add you to my party. There you go. Invite to party. Alright. Um, Eric Thonios is certain he knows the identity of the Pandemonium's assailant. So do we know for sure if anyone actually died? Yet? And so there can be uh, but one conclusion. La Habrea was the driving force behind this chaos from the start. There is logic to that. There are few with the uh, wherewithal to even consider experimentation on such a scale, let alone the capacity to create demigods from man and beast with the rest of us uh, none the wiser. Considering the magnitude of his work with the convocation and the wards, his relatively minor role as chief keyword comes under little scrutiny, even as it prov uh, provides him the authority to wield dangerous magics. It may serve as veil and mantle both. Still, I find the notion hard to accept. The misdeeds perpetrated here could not have been done by the Lahabrea I know. You have met him, yes. Do you think he is capable of this? Uh, yeah. Are we going to do a flashback? A highlight reel of him fucking stepping on babies' heads? La Habre is capable of far more than you know. Yeah, I'm fucking throwing him under the bus. I'm speaking to HR about your ass. You're gonna get fucking axed. You're getting thrown out of the, the organization. Is he? So you believe La Habrea to be a man of few scruples. 
if it brings his goals closer in reach. Yeah, yeah. That alone should be enough, uh, but let me assure you, La Habrea holds nothing so dear as his own ambition. While he may not be one to let emotion stand in the way of his mission, I cannot believe there are no depths to which he would not stoop. Although we met but briefly, the impression he left on me stands in stark contrast to your evaluation. Though his methods are ever unorthodox, they seem guided by a firm understanding of what is just. There's no way to find out for certain. We delve deeper into pandemonium and pull back the curtain for this mystery ourselves. A wise course. I would not deny the truth if I saw it with my own eyes, even if it was discomforting to behold. Then we must move forward with no excess of caution. La Brea or whomever is behind this has likely spread their tentacles into every corner of Pandemonium. We can safely assume the other keywords uh, won't greet us with open arms. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, we're good. Um, agreed, let us make our way through Ab uh, Abyssos one careful step at a time. All right, let's go. I shall stay by Eric Thonio's society in case our enemies think to target him again. Could I trouble you to take the vanguard? Yeah, basically as usual. Thank you. As a precaution, I shall safeguard you with a simple spell. This will ensure that even should we become separated, my phantom warriors will still come to your aid. If it does come to battle, the keywords magics will put us at a disadvantage once again. Luckily, we have you to even the scales somewhat. I trust you shall be liberal with your weight. All right. I want to go fight. I'm going to greet on everything just so you know. Um, I need all the equipment I can get. The fifth circle. Okay, guys. Oh, no, no, no. No. I'm a, there you go. Got a little button happy. Alright, so, as usual, doing this blind, naked, and afraid. So, um, I saw that there was like a giant, like, dragon thing. Well, I think it was a dragon. I don't know. It looked like a demon. Uh, I saw a tree, and I saw a bull cut. That's, that's what I'm expecting. I don't know who number four is going to be. All right. Oh yeah. Oh my God. We fell for a trap. Have you done this yet, Saintly? Okay, this music is fucking fire already. Oh yeah, it's like a dragon thing. All right, so don't touch outside. Proto car carbuncle. What the fuck happened to that carbuncle? Jesus. Oh my god. That's like a carbuncle that's been fed nothing but carbuncles, protein shakes and methamphetamine. It's it, it's whole whole uh, whole life. Holy shit. Oh, if this is a mount, that'd be insane. My car bunker wants to know. Oh, jeez. Alright, cool. Oh, fuck. Okay, so. Oh, fuck, what are you doing? Okay, what is this? Oh, shit, okay, so this is the right... This is the right side. Jeez! 
Uh, what does this mean? That's alright. Alright. Okay. What is this? I have no idea what any of this is. I'm just gonna sit right here. Gotta watch a movie with Rome. See you tomorrow, King. Yeah, go for it. Um, I'll uh, I'll definitely be on. All right, so this looks like the spot to be. Okay, so I could I could freely move from one side to the other. It seems like. So I'm assuming you're going to do the same thing you did before, right? Yeah. Okay. I think we're okay. Damn, I, I still... I'm still blown away. This is a fucking carbuncle. I mean, it doesn't even... Well, I guess it kind of does. But you have to, like, literally be reminded. Oh, yeah, this is a carbuncle. I don't think carbuncles have horns, though. Vanilla cream pie. In event? You're in an event. Ugh, gunked all over us. Oh god. Okay. Is that acid? So why would it make sense to hold on to these things and not get rid of them. Oh my god. This shit is crazy. I want that as a mount. They were talking um, about it. Oh shit. What is it? Is that jello? Oh, I love lime jello. All right, so what appears to be the right area? Um, I'm guessing over here, because that's where everyone else is going. All right, so those... All right, I think I got it. Blind, naked, and afraid. Music's really good, and I like it. Okay, so I have no idea what does what? Oh fuck. Oh my god. Holy shit. Did I get touched by that? I guess I got touched by the poison or is that his, his tank attack he just did to me? Alright, so what the fuck does this mean? All right. I have no idea what any of this means, so I um I apologize. Damn it. All 
Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I that was new a new thing altogether. Okay. So it looks like Oh shit, so now we have to go on this side. Okay. It looks like depending on where they um the AoE markers end up going. Um, that will, that kind of determines where the next attack's gonna go. Did somebody just pull me? Alright. So it looks like we're good here. Alright, so was it that poison? Looks like I want to get over here, right? Oh fuck, that was... Alright. Alright. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so I think I'm getting everything. It depends where these crystals fall, so the poison sucks if you let it touch you. Alright, so cross over here. Fuck. Alright, I think I got it. So it seems like if you get caught in that one mechanic that me and Saintly got caught in, I don't think there's a way to survive it. So that's just going to be one of those ones we'll have to learn. I'll probably have to watch it again, or we might even run this again today. Um, who knows, because I need my glams. Alright, so how do we know which, which one it's going to be in on the side? Okay, I guess we won't know. Cool. Alright. Only if the healer heals you. Got it. So it looks like you might be able to heal through that. Yeah, it was good. I liked it. Da, 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 da. Cool. Alright, they're probably waiting on me to roll. Hurry, throw the Pokeball. Need, 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 need. Hey, I got the armor. Or one of the tokens for it. I need my armor. I, I need my armor. What's still up for grabs? Oh, just... 
Why did it say zero? I'm guessing... I... Maybe I don't... What? I couldn't help but notice I couldn't roll on everything. Can you only roll on certain things? Oh, maybe maybe there's a limit to how, what you can roll on. Okay, we'll figure it out. So this is where research is conducted on creations imbued with poisons and venoms. Eric Thonios and I were, con uh, um, sorry, Ugh. conveyed not far from here. It seems our foe is uh, finding it more difficult to surprise us. It's one item, so that's why... Oh, fuck. So I, I'm just going to have to greet on the chess piece for everything. Um, fortunately for you, since they appear particularly keen to see you dispatched as quickly as possible... So that means I got really lucky. I'm sure everyone's probably going for the armor. Even alone, you are a force to be reckoned with. Part of me is glad you emerged victorious that I might observe you further. Is this going to be La Habrea? Yep. Fucking piece of shit. We should fucking take him out right now. With the circumstances different, I might thank you for keeping my son alive for this long, but I believe we can forego introductions unless I have misread you. Yes, chest and legs are four items. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to have to greed on just, uh, just chesticles only. Oh, this fucking guy. I'm all too familiar, Paragon. A charming appellation, but I'm afraid I hold no such position. No, I am La Habrea of the Convocation of Fourteen. If you truly are who you claim to be, then answer this question. I got head, so I need one more, and then I'll have to, um, something else. Yeah, I'm going all for chest. I want that, uh, that chest piece first. Then probably, well, honestly, I probably want it all. What is this? I forgot, I didn't get to see what he said. Now this is curious, the trap I wove at your feet reacts to aether, but you remain unaffected. Such thin aether and in an unfamiliar composition besides, it is of no matter, I suppose, a more direct approach will beget the same results. I would advise you to think carefully before deciding your next action. Strike me down here and Eric Thonios' wish shall remain unfulfilled, never again shall he meet Athena. Mother, you would dare hide behind her name? Listen well, Eric Thonios, we are of the same mind concerning your mother. You have your allies for protection, so what harm is there in hearing me out? Eric Thonios, wait. There is a question I must needs ask first. If you truly are La Habrea, why speak such blatant lies. Bitter in defeat, are we? Say my name. A simple request. Themis, was it? A trifle soon forgotten, as are you. I have my answer. The La Habrea that I knew took pride in the convocation. It would never suffer its de uh, uh, denigration. Got it. Say my name, say my name. I was actually uh, going there. You sully his station with this farce. Themis, what are you saying? La Habrea and I hardly saw eye to eye, but I know his voice when I hear it. Are you an idiot? You can basically create anything in this world, and you didn't think somebody would be able to do that? 
Indeed, he makes a passing fine imitation in appearance and manner. However, the real Lahabrea would never call me by the name Themis. So that's the real one. The other one is Chaos Lahabrea. What troubles have you gotten yourself into, Elidibus? Oh, it is Elidibus! Let's go! Imposter, you have no right to claim that form, that mask. Who the fuck are you? What? Who? Twas a mask that sickened me to wear. The Mask of La Habrea, a man who values, values his position above all, who would murder his own wife in pursuit of duty. Yet you would assume my name and wield powers that are mine by right. Any worth, uh, any worth you may have, hinges on what uh, that which you so despise. Such trite provocations, I will not be goaded into finishing this ere my work is done. Erichthonios, listen well. I am Hephaestos, and you are. And it is I whom you should call father. Oh no. Um, Themis. That's that's the uh, his title is Elidibus, because if you remember at the end of Endwalker, um, he has the same voice as um, Elidibus does, and uh, at the end of Endwalker, you hear him talking about um, basically waiting for you to show up. We would do well not to stand idle while all our while our enemy is about. I believe an explanation is in order, Elidibus. Let us return to safety so you may provide it. Oh, you skipped it? Oh, you crazy man. So yeah, this is Elidibus in his youths. Before he, uh, you know, turned himself into a primal. as a uh, zodiac's heart before we depart however i must offer you an apology as la brea, la brea said i am elidibus one of the convocation and emissary of their will for reasons which do not involve you it was necessary to hide my identity while investigating this place still that hardly excuses my deception uh, while I'm watching it with you, um, so uh, Laha is his daddy. Is um, Eric Thonios, the the red haired guy, is apparently his father, but that other guy um, is now saying that that's like I'm actually your father. So it might be that maybe Laha Brea is just an adoptive uh, father. I had a feeling. Your perceptiveness does not surprise me. When the time comes, it shall make my explanation all the easier to understand. In any case, we have pressing matters to attend to. Let us do as La Habrea suggested and return to the gates. We can speak there. Please help him. Save him. That's Mama. It's Athena. I'm calling it. Wait, do you think Athena's bowl cut with the snake? They just need to go to Mari. Yeah, don't we all? As you're aware of by now, I know I am known as Elidibus after my dear friend Asm. You know Asm. And I detected irregularities in Pandemonium. We decided the best course of action would be to hide my station as I conducted my investigation. Uh, I am sure La Habrea as well is eager to find out why I hid who I was, so I shall save that story for later. First, I should uh, like to speak of you, my friend. Although neither Asm nor I ha had ever uh, met you in the flesh, you came 
with her highest recommendation, that alone was enough for me to accept you as an ally without question. That somewhere in the world a guiding star so similar to herself was out there amused Asm to no end. There was not a shade of doubt in her heart that you would be a formidable ally. Furthermore, I have heard stories that Mistress Vana, who held the position of Asm previously, journeyed with a familiar like yourself that made the decision to trust you all the easier. She too now dons the white robes of an advisor. If she placed her absolute faith in you, I knew I would be in capable hands. All aware though I was of the path you had walked, I had no interest in exposing you. I merely wanted to meet you to travel by your side for a while. I may know but a small portion of your whole story, but that is enough for me to believe you would never lead me astray. I wanted to tell you that. All right, man. You're trying to fuck? Why do you keep talking so much to me? Um, all right. So direct hit. So, yeah, I guess it's only one parade. It's bullshit. Alright, and we go on. A keywords jail. Eric Thonios is resolutely, resolutely sorry, uh, avoiding his father's eye. Daddy issues. Um, Alright, we'll probably go for. We'll probably finish it tonight. I don't know how long it has been since we last spoke, La Habrea, and truth be told, I had hoped we never would again. But I see now that I was a fool to think I would ever escape your meddling. Just what is that thing that called himself La Habrea, and why is he the spitting image of your younger self? I find it hard to believe you've only just now found out such a being was wreaking havoc in pandemonium. Did you think matters would simply sort themselves out? I suppose you deserve at least a cursory explanation. I was well aware of the anomalies occurring within Pandemonium, including the fact that Asm and Elidibus had taken it upon themselves to investigate. I saw no reason to insert myself into the situation, for a time that was. Imagine my surprise when instead of a formal report from you and yours, I received a communication from one of the key wards stating that research and operations were proceeding as usual. While uh, Hephaestos, is that Hephae, uh, Hephaestos uh, deception was almost childish in its simplicity, it became plain to me that your grasp on the situation was slipping. So that's the person we just met, Hephaestos. Um, so you knew of his existence from the beginning. I can hardly imagine that you would suffer another to masquerade as one of the convocation, not without good reason, at least. As you well know, the name La Habrea is but a marker of my station. Tis not the name I was born with. My real name is Chelsea. Hephaestos has claimed that for himself. I cannot fault him uh, for it, as he is my other half. In a manner of speaking, he knows all that I know, my equal in every way, yet within his heart is naught but greed, envy, and desire. All the emotions that we are loath to acknowledge within ourselves. Did you like split your personality? If what you are saying is true, what purpose would such a being serve? He is the product of experimentation gone awry. A reminder of the days when I was yet young and reckless, I thought him sealed away for good, but it seems time has a way of unearthing the shame we bury. When he spoke of my mother, he looked at you with venom in his eyes, blamed you for her death. Tell me, was he right to do so? Ooh, let's hear it. His words were but the ramblings of a tortured mind. The hatred and the despair he endures was warped, uh, has warped his view of the world irreparably. Irreparably. Every epiapoly. Um, here, real quick. All right. Sorry. My vid is done. I can upload the stream. 
I, um, real quick, let me just get this going on YouTube. I've been editing the streams so they're a little bit shorter. They're still pretty long. Um, they're kind of a pain in the ass to edit because it takes forever to actually upload them into uh, the editor. I do it. I do it though. Um, anyway, all right. Uh, three hours. Uh, all right, I'm gonna do it. Um, and now that he has awakened, he must be put to rest. If he succeeds in breaching Pandemonium's protective wards, he shall invite disaster onto our star. As chief keyword of pandemonium, it is my duty to decide the proper course of action. You should have just you should just roll up with Emmett. Emmett just comes in there and just starts fucking blasting the shit out of everybody. Just he starts he starts doing snaps and people starts bursting into flames and stuff. That's what I want to see. Uh, as such, I declare that all research shall be sumer uh, uh, sumer uh, summarily abandoned and the facility destroyed. There you go. Seems like the best course of action. It would leave the other warders to their doom. Pretty much. Tis a choice befitting La Habrea. Do you disagree? You speak of duty, and ours is to guide our star and its inhabitants upon the correct course. It is no surprise that you would choose annihilation of pandemonium if its existence posed even the remotest risk to our people. Nice. Yet, as you can see by Eric Thonios' response, the decision is somewhat more nuanced than that. Asim and I grappled with this conundrum for some time, in fact. That is precisely why I chose to involve myself directly. It was the, uh, the only way I could truly determine the best solution. And you need not trouble yourself with that further. The chief keyword must prevent the worst from occurring, no matter the cost. Your feelings, Elidibus, are of no consequence. Have you taken even a moment to consider another path? No! You spared nary a thought for aught but yourself and your duty. You have no idea of the trials we've endured, the foes that King has stood against. Yeah, we just killed like a mutant carbuncle. That shit killed me. It's kind of fucked up. A being of such aether as I have never seen. What are you? Um, you're, you're... Well, no, I didn't kill you. I killed the other chick, the no-namer. Um, and then, yeah, you got you got killed by anime pope in Heaven's Ward, so... It's kind of embarrassing. She is the guiding star that shall lead us safely through this. Thanks to her stout arm and steadfast courage, we have subdued the mythic creations and returned them to their cells. Speaking of which, I would hear your opinion, King. As outsiders, we are in a unique position to look upon circumstances with our vision unclouded by attachment. <laughs> I'm say it right to his face. La Habrea can't be trusted. Agreed, we still know next to nothing about uh, Hephaestos, and I highly doubt La Habrea has been forthcoming with the truth. But we've managed to regain control of asshole Smelos. He must be made to see that there's merit in continuing on this path. I have it. Speak in your official capacity as a Lydibus the Emissary. Judge which approach is more sound, and even La Habrea would be compelled to listen. the fuck's wrong with you? Speak up. As a litibus, I am duty-bound to assess the matter from a position of impartiality. Impartiality, sorry. Uh, my opinion as Themis can carry no weight. You understand what that means, yes? I do. Even so, you've walked with us all this, all this time. Seen what we've seen based on that alone, I trust you'll find uh, the best way forward. Okay, cool. He's like, we should take it all out. Um, then in my capacity as emissary, I shall state my judgment. 
At present, there are merits both in destroying Pandemonium outright and in taking time to rescue its researchers, and neither is yet an impossible task. Therefore, I judge that the most measured choice would be to continue upon our present course. We delve into Abyssos, uh, interring any mythic creations we encounter along the way. You gonna join us? You have yet to witness King's might and Eric Thonios' resolve. I would ask that you see our capabilities firsthand and only then decide if our endeavor is futile. Cool. Uh, yes. If such is the will of the emissary, then I shall obey. However, if indeed I find your strength to be lacking, I trust there will be no objections in the immediate destruction of Panda Express. You needn't worry about that. We won't fail. He might be your father, but he ain't your daddy. And you've even more tedious, uh, and you're even more tedious than I remember. King, come find me when you're finished. Aren't we just a happy bunch? Eric Thonios is understandably frustrated, but if we are to conquer Abyssos, we must go forth with clear heads. Pray lend an ear to his troubles, that their weight might be lightened. It's like, La Habrea murdered my mother, and then like the quest is going to be like, we walk over to uh, Eric Thonios, and it's like, you need to cheer him up, and you do your little... Your little dance or whatever. I don't know. It's, it's I think it's different for Highlanders. Oh wait, no. It's um. I think when you're trying to cheer people up, it's like uh, here, here. We'll do it right now. It's like yeah, I'm like you know, kind of struggling with the whole fact that like my dad killed my mom, um, and then like we're gonna run up to him, and we're gonna go uh oh here, psych him up. Yeah, come on, it's cool. Get into a good mood. Is there a cheer up? I thought there's. Oh no, there's cheer. Thumbs up. Yeah. I feel like psych up is probably the best way to do it. Yeah, we're just gonna run over to him. Whatever issues you're going through, we'll we'll get through it. Alright, gotta make sure we do the right one. Um, here. We gotta psych up. There we go. Yeah! It's cool. Alright. Anyway, that's enough of that. You do have my gratitude. Ill fit as I am to show it at the moment, without your words to sway him, La Habrea would have carried out his plan without a second thought. Yeah, I, I still think they should probably shut this place down. It just seems kind of like a bad idea. You know? When at first we realized the creations had slipped uh, their bonds and the other key wards did all in their power to restore order, even though they could have chosen escape, they remained to aid their allies. I'm certain not a soul among them would wish to see this facility erased from the world, and they don't deserve to be abandoned simply for carrying, uh, carrying out their carrying out their duty. Did a lot of them already die? And besides, uh, Hephaestus has secrets yet untold, secrets that would be buried in Pandemonium were, uh, if Pandemonium were reduced to rubble. I mean, to uncover the truth behind his words, the truth of my mother. While La Habrea was quick to dismiss his claims, I failed to see what Hephaestus would gain by fabricating such a story. All I, told, all I was told of my mother's death was that she perished in an accident. No one would say more. It was almost as if they feared saying more, in fact. Even if it was not La Habrea that dealt the fatal blow, we've seen with our own eyes how quickly he can condemn others to die. I only wish to know at last what 
befell her. All right, this is shitty. What do you think? Does the Lahabrea you know have any regard for the lives of others, or will he carry out his duty with another's blood on his hands? You, we are the wrong person to ask because, like, Lahabrea was like, like genocidal from uh, our time. Um, he used my ally as a vessel for his own twisted ends. He always was a man who worked from the shadows. I'm going to say that. There you go. Chaos Thancred, or as I like to call it, um, Hot Topic Thancred. What would possess him to do that? Even for La Habrea, such an act would be a black mark against him if it were made known. I can't imagine how much your ally suffered. But it is plain. Uh, there is much to consider. Thank you. <laughs> it's easy for me to get carried away by emotion when where he's concerned. We should focus on the task at hand, proving to La Brea that we are capable of saving oh, Panda Express and its keepers. The most convincing way to do that will be to regain control of Abyssos. Yeah, I, I agree. All right, let's go to the next one. I have armor to get. Although I'm loath to admit he would know more about those depths than any of us, and seeing as how we require every advantage we can afford, would you speak to him for us? He seems to have a special interest in your capabilities and may deign to help at our at your suggestion, if only to see what you can do. Cool. Yeah, now I'm going to go warm up to him. <sighs> I still couldn't believe that that thing that we saw from the live letter in the um, the trailer was a carbuncle. <laughs> What's next? Are you gonna show like a a mutated chocobo or like a a moogle? This thing that looks like a dragon it has feathers and stuff. It's actually just a chocobo. It's like, oh yeah, this is what chocobos used to look like before we took out like. The uncontrollable bloodlust. Um, Eric Thonios appeared to have a deep trust in you, and Elidibus tells me you share some relation to Asm. Your unusual aether does not mark you as a familiar. It is unlike anything I have seen, even among the countless concepts I have observed. To think that I would encounter an existence I could not create by my own hand, Asm never ceases to surprise. The previous Asm was much the same, In taking the entirety of the star into consideration, she came to hold dear emotions and people that a more um, people that a more logical mind would have uh, discarded. This made her act in her own self-interest more often than not. Just as you and Elidibus have conducted yourselves in this matter. The true danger of Asm's nature is its tendency to infect all of those she comes into contact with. <laughs> Emmett Selk said much the same, uh, trust that I shall do not that would violate my duty. And yet you so frivolously invoked your authority as emissary to justify this little excursion. It matters little, however, only your deeds can speak for you now. Your wish to know more of Abyssos, I take it, although I no longer have control over many of its functions, I can yet sense what creations lie within. The chief keyword, uh, keyword's reach is far indeed. Well then, what uh, do we have to look forward to? I know there's a tree, and I know there's bull cut with the snake. I sense no creations of note. Perhaps they have been made into fodder for experimentation, or perhaps they have been transferred to the deeper circles, okay? Yet Hephaestos would never allow you safe passage. He has left a trial for you to overcome. Bowl cut! I hate your haircut. Um, I speak of a... Uh, Hegemon? Hegemone? 
Hegemone. Hegemon. He he gem one. There it is. He gem one. Uh, uh he hegemony. Hege hegemony. Okay, anyway, I'm done. Um keyword of Abyssos. Although her presence is stained with marks of corruption, it is unmistakable. I knew her as a woman gifted in magic and blessed with a highly logical mind. While I can sense those qualities within her still, there is something else at work. Okay. If I had to hazard a guess, I would say that's because she's already been twisted into a Hemetheos. Okay. He jammed one. That's what I was thinking. Um, doubtless against her will. Uh, we must rescue her from the cruel, uh, from that cruel fate, and if we cannot, we can at least seal her away until we find a means to undergo uh, undo the damage. Sorry. Your allies make you bold, Eric Donios. I very much look forward to seeing uh, how far they carry you. Okay. Hey. Shut up, Dad. You're not my real dad. Hephaestos is my true daddy. Cool, finally. God damn it, that took a while. Alright. Alright, guys, let's go fight Hegemon. Oh, actually, it's gonna go right here. Hegemon, Hegemon. Alright. Damn! That was quick. Alright! Next one! <sighs> there you are. Hegemon! Cool. Okay. What'd you, what is that? She looks like that one dude from Eden. With the dragons? Okay. All right. All right. Hegemon. Hegemon. All right, are we good? Evanescence? Uh, I don't know if it's quite. All right. Blind, naked, and afraid. Okay, so I'm gonna stay in the the ones that don't have this weird effect. This seems fine. So I wonder if the waves have anything to do with it. They probably do. Okay, I'm gonna just stay really close in case she decides to reverse the how they're supposed to look. All right, cool. I am so good at mechanics. Somebody give me a sandwich. Actually, I'm gonna do this, sorry guys. I'm the best at mechanics. Fuck with me. Wow, that actually hits pretty hard. What the fuck is this? Alright, so I have some sort of parasite. Um, Alright, so though you guys got marked with something. 
What exactly? What the fuck? Okay, so once infected, there's not really anything. So I should face away next time. So I don't. Um, here. Shite. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I didn't poop my pants. I might have a little bit. Okay, so same thing. Looks like uh, we're good. Alright, so that's what ignites whatever this is. Oh, fuck! Oh, that's right! Okay, so now she's combining that. Okay, I, I got it. Alright. Okay, so you're gonna start off over there. Oh, is this the song that was in the uh, in the trailer? So I noticed that they were different colors. I wonder if there's different effects depending on which one you get. Maybe one of them, like it's like getting cotton candy flavored medicine and the other one's like uh like cough syrup cherry i don't know okay so you want to you want to fuck with this again all right i guess so i'm gonna try and just like point away there you go ah Nice. Alright. I think I'm good. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Oh, I just realized I lost my attack buff. Well, that's embarrassing. Now everyone thinks I'm a nerd. Um, I can't help but notice that we are doing... Uh, Oh, they're gonna switch. Okay, so that one's... I'm gonna stay right here. Oh, wait, no, but that one's gonna switch. Fuck! I was looking at the other one. Fuck this damage! Holy shit! Oh my god, okay. So I was looking at the one side, but then I was ended up getting hit by the other one, so... Oh god, okay, so... Um, what's gonna go over here? That's gonna get pulled over there. Um, I guess right over here. Okay. So basically I should go to one of the spots of, uh, that's, that's being pulled instead of trying to figure out, um, where it's gonna end up going. Cause I think it only, it seems to only affect the space that it's in, like the, whatever square. It doesn't spread to others, which the waves made me think otherwise. I didn't mean to use that. Oh well. Okay, so that's getting pulled. So I guess I'm gonna go- oh fuck, you're gonna do this shit now? Alright. Okay. Alright, so far so good, right? God damn it, I hate when I accidentally target myself and I get a little trigger happy with, uh... Damn it, I'm, I just wasted my blood wedding. Alright, so... We've mastered your bullshit. We don't need this. Unless she starts mixing mechanics, that's when things start happening. So it looks like it lasts for 20 seconds, so we can kind of... Oh wait, no. Oh fuck. So, did it hit me? 
Oh no, it's dead. Sorry. I just didn't want to get hit by the AoEs. But I also didn't want to point point the bad stuff at the party. Cause I'm a tank that cares. Oh fuck. Uh is that gonna move? I'm gonna go over here. Fuck! I <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, I'm dead. That was my bad. So it looks like both hit me. I have to get better with uh, that mechanic. Oh god. Yikes. Almost wiped. Uh, we still might. Okay, so these are gonna switch. Fuck. Okay, now you add this shit to it. Yeah, I'm gonna pop a couple cooldowns so they can get the rest of the party back. Oh, I don't have my uh, attack buff. I don't really care about that right now. I just need all the healing I can get. So that's going to get pulled over there. Oh, now this is happening. Alright. Fuck, I still... Damn it! I dodged the, the squares, but this time I got hit by um, this bullshit again. Oh fuck, this is gonna hurt. Here, I'll do this too. Alright, I almost home ganged, which I'm going to actually. Home gang. That last one I didn't think I was gonna get killed. Alright, we, we got this. I don't know why. Did they use the LB? On, uh, for DPS. I mean, I guess that's fine, but kind of wish they wouldn't have. Make sure you point that away. For favor. Okay. We got this. I refuse to wipe my butt. It's just a personal choice. I don't believe in it. Makes no sense for DPS to use LB. I know. That was that was a uh, poor choice. Oh fuck. Yeah, that's going to wipe me out. Yeah, that's my uh that's my bad. I wasn't looking. I just... I... Oh god, yeah. This is gonna kill me. Oh wow. You pop a shield on me? Because that helped. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like that was a that was a poor choice. For especially for new stuff, but maybe they maybe they knew what they were doing. Didn't seem like it, because everyone was dead. GG. Yeah. 
cool. All right. So we have any? I'm gonna really need. Roll to thirty. Um, need. 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 Ah oh, man, did I get anything? I got gloves at least. Alright. Damn it. We'll have to run it again. Uh, we'll probably run the first one or the last one over and over. Okay. Um. Rats. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Um, I had a good time. It just, uh, that's exactly why for stuff like that. You uh, you save in raids. It's a good idea. Like what I don't understand when it's a a dungeon boss and nobody wants to use the uh, the LB. Don't get it. Happens all the time. And when they do use it, it'll be like, oh, it's down to like 02 percent. I I think I'm gonna I'm gonna summon Leviathan. It's like all right, whatever. But yeah, that was um that was a poor choice. It's not the way I would have done it. The keyword is sealed away and alive this time. La Habrea can't deny us now. Oh, he can. And he will. Um, before I do this... Alright, so... Meld. Alright, so I do have... Am I trying to do... I'm trying to do Determination. That's right. So, let's see. I only have one Determination? Oh, I picked up Direct Hit. You dumbass. Shit. Um, this one needs Direct... Well, this one needs Determination, too. Fuck. Alright. Let me... Let me do this first. Um, let's do... Determination. Make sure I get the right one this time. Um, yeah, so meld. Probably gonna fail. I have four. You're sorry for what? Why are you sorry? Oh, you gotta go? Okay, all good. No worries. Um, I'll be, uh, I'll probably do like, uh, one more thing. I don't think I'm gonna finish tonight. But yeah, um, all good. Take it easy. Have a good night. Our plan was a success, although I hardly need to tell you that. Hegemone has been... I'm actually a... Hegemon? I was going to say it like that. Uh, has been sealed away, and now you have no choice but to admit the merit in our methods. You have the right of it. I am not so petty as to deny the achievements of those I've squabbled with, no matter how strongly we disagree. Heh <laughs> heh. Take that, dead. Moreover, this being, Aether is thin as retreating mist, unable to wield creation magics, yet powerful enough to subdue a Hemetheos. Please forgive me. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Seriously, it's good. Um, has made this ordeal far more interesting. It's good. Um, but you will have to pay me 100k gil. Uh, you can just mail it to me. <laughs> uh, then we have uh, leave to continue. Yes, let's go. Come on. Let's go clap some cheeks. As for that, there is one among you whose very presence puts the others at risk. It would be best to proceed without him. For failure would have consequences that reach far beyond pandemonium. And of whom do you speak? Obviously, Elidibus. 
a warder who cannot even conduct his duty without aid. In this place, hope alone is not enough to overcome what awaits you. A single misstep will send all to their doom. Damn. So long as we each do our part and look to the allies by our side, even a neophyte can, upri uh, uh, can um, upraise his companions, appraise his companions, sorry, um, his companions. That's something that King and Themis taught me. Wow, uh, up, uprise, apprise. Um, I can't speak today. Or ever. Uh, while I do not wish to express any bias, I am inclined to agree. If my investigation has made anything clear, it is that we are uh, together greater than the sum of our parts. <gasps> oh. The hope has brought us this far. It drives us to seek the right path and to act before the path lies close to us. Then tell me, what is it you hope for? To see Hephaestus in chains, that's the surest way to prevent further sacrifices. I'm aware that destroying Pandemonium would rid us of him, but the cost is far too great. And I admit, I wish to know how he means to resurrect Athena. And there we have it. You must leave this place at once and do not think to set foot in, in pandemonium again. You are capable, that much is plain, yet Hephaestus cannot be suffered to live and I shall not allow his talk of resurrection to poison mine or anyone else's mind. Life flows in a cycle, this is known. All souls return to the underworld, and Athena is Athena's is no exception. She has likely found a new vessel and a new journey to embark upon. You cannot be ignorant to the folly of Hephaestus's words. Even were he to breathe life into a body, the soul contained within would not be your mother's. What if our knowledge is imperfect? What if Hephaestus has discovered something that no one else has? He knows all that you do, understands the bitter reality of the world. He wouldn't pursue the impossible. Think, Erichthonios, I have already explained that he is merely my twisted reflection. Is it worth bringing back your mother if it means others are used and discarded like tools? Is it worth it to see her once more? Now you measure the worth of your colleagues' lives. What was that foolish braying? About saving them, merely a performance to hide your childish devotion to your mother? Please, such barbs will get us nowhere. We should first discuss... Oh, he's going to lose it. You would call me fool, you who murdered your wife in service of your ambition for the sake of the star, no doubt. Oh, fuck. I can hear it again, the voice inside my head. Oh, God. I know who to follow. Hephaestus. Father. Mother, oh, I love you so. And this voice will guide me to you. Oh, God. No, listen not. Listen not, Erichthonios. Apologies. You taught me that a calm heart stays the course, but I could never even grasp the rudder. Oh. All right. That's not good. Okay. This was Hephaestus's work where um, uh, there can be no doubt. It seems he learned from his previous failure.
Hephaestos uh, is cunning despite his warped mind. Whatever took hold of Eric Thonios has made short work of his reason. From the moment he laid eyes upon me, I could sense his hatred and rage simmering below the surface. Twas but a matter of time until it spilled forth, and that was when he fell into the spell's embrace. A magic woven with such skill that Eric Thonios himself failed to notice until it was too late. If this is the measure of Hef uh, Hephaestos' power, then the other keywords had little chance to resist it. We saw his work during our encounter with Hesperos. Doubtless Hephaestos' magic held, oh sorry, fed his admiration and envy until there was room for uh, naught else in his heart. And there was something else besides. Did you not feel the presence of another? As I thought, someone was trying to warn Eric Donios, but whom could it have been one of the key wards? Alas, their warning arrived too late. I had already provoked Eric Donios past, past the point of no return. I bear the burden for this failure. In my stubbornness, I, can, I could but scorn the boy, and Hephaestos knew that. And now I dread to think of the ordeal that awaits him due to my rashness. There is time yet to save him. We can easily regain control of Abyssos, giving us a firm foothold from which to brave Pandemonium's lowest level. The enemy is within reach. Let's do it. Just as with Hesperos, Eric Donios is in danger of being consumed by Hephaestos' uh, Hephaestos spell. However, I have faith that he will not easily lose sight of himself. The way forward is clear. La Habrea, pray tell us all you know of what we shall find beyond Abyssos. I can only assume one more key ward lies in wait. The deepest level of Pandemonium is called uh, Tartaros, and your passage shall be challenged not only by a key ward, Hephaestos has laid traps in every corner of its halls. You have no hope of surviving far past the threshold. That, I expect, is where King shall shine. Her dissolute aether shall allow her to slip through the traps unimpeded. We saw it when Hephaestos had no effect, and doubtless even he has yet to uh, devise a countermeasure. Cool. The time is of the essence. Then time is of the essence. Uh, Hephaestos is already well aware that you can match a keyword in battle. He will not stand idle while you stroll past his other defenses at your leisure. Agreed, however, clarity will be in, uh, indispensable to our success, and I'm afraid I must insist upon it ere we depart. We have yet to discern what uh, end Hephaestos would use Eric Thonios. If you know, I would ask that you enlighten us. And then there is the matter of Athena. Why do you so fiercely rebuke Eric Thonios' feeling for his mother? While I understand the very thought of resurrecting the dead is, uh, uh, is anathema, uh, you act as if grief over her passing should be equally so. How are we to grapple with what plagues our friend and drives our foe if you refuse to acknowledge it. I do acknowledge it. I only wish to spare those that feel it still greater pain. Do you mean to protect Eric Thonios with your silence? Probably. How dare you? No, no, you are right. The blame of Eric Thonios's fate rests squarely on my shoulders. Very well, I shall lay bare the truth, but only after the foe before us has been laid low. Lay him low! The remaining key keyword is Agdistis. She has served in Pandemonium since its inception, and her affinity for magic is uh, peerless even among the keywords. 
Uh, Phaistos knows that losing her would mean the end of his experiments. He has hidden her in a space unreachable by conventional means. Is she the tree? Who's the tree? I really want to know who the tree is. But your presence makes mockery of such barriers. The scarcity of your aether means it will be trivial to send you directly to uh, Agdisis. We shall approach uh, as ca uh, closely as caution will allow. We know where the battle will commence, so I do not anticipate difficulty in detecting your presence. From afar, I shall do my best to provide you with uh, ground on which to fight and phantom allies to aid you. As for the interment, I have yet to think of a foolproof method. Cool. Interment shall not be necessary. From here, I can sense Agdisus' essence, but it is scarcely recognizable. Hephaestus was more ambitious with her than he was with Hegemon. She has been transfigured such that barely a scantling of herself remains. So she is the tree. We can but take comfort in what a mercy the underworld will be to her. Oh god. Mm, let's see. All right. Okay. Okay. So, let's see. Um, I didn't miss anything, did I? I think... I think we could do one more. Um, I actually have a hard stop, so I can't go much longer. Um, I got a couple things I have to take care of tonight. So, all right. We're going to do the seventh circle, and then we'll finish up um, the eighth tomorrow, and then we'll probably end up for the rest of the stream running the... Um, the, the raids until we get all the gear that we want. We'll probably just do the first one over and over. Um, I don't really know if I've noticed one easier than the others. I thought the last one wasn't that bad. Um, and I th I'm sure the carbuncle is probably the easiest. That's usually how it goes, but yeah. I just want that sweet gear. All right. So last one. Hang on to your butts. Uh, it's going down. All right. Here we go, guys. Tree. Tree. Hey, girl. Let me see the tree. All right. Okay. Holy shit. He fucked her up. Jesus. And she used to be such a pretty little girl. All right, ready? Or is this the song? Or is this the same song as the last one? Okay. I think this, yeah, I think this might be the same one.
God damn it. Fuck. Alright, so I have to pay attention to everyone. Alright, so it seems like the center is the, like, the best place to be. Alright, so I guess like right over here. Okay, was that the correct- Oh, fuck! So, was that not the way to go? Uh, okay. Well, this looks interesting. Alright, alright. So, still the same rule applies? Okay, I think we're okay so far, right? Maybe? What is that? Um, I don't know what these are. Alright, I think I got it. Right? Okay, so what do these guys do? So you're all pointing... Shit. Fuck. Alright, so... Okay, so... <laughs> have some learning to do. Um, I'm definitely taking like a ton of fucking damage. Oh, how am I supposed to get up in that? Fuck! Oh my god, I just took two of those. I didn't realize that there was stuff behind us too. So, I really have to pay attention. Alright. I think I'm okay. Okay, so we don't have the same thing as last time. Okay, so the... Fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, I'm gonna run over here. Fuck. I tried to get away. Thanks for nothing, you fucking asswipe. Thanks to you. And you fucking died anyway. Are you kidding me? Alright, so I have three stacks because of that little shit. Alright, well, I gotta be really careful. I feel like these next couple of hits are gonna mess me up. So now it's just two. So these are probably gonna be something different. No? They're just birds? Uh, we're both going that way? So... God, I can barely see anything. Holy shit. Oh, man. I'm gonna hold game just in case. Because I have three stacks. If I could... Oh, I got this, the stacks dropped. Thank God. I home gang just in case, but... Um, we're good. Alright, is it going to be the birds or is it going to be the mud thingies? Whatever the fuck these things are. And there's also these? Fuck.
Whew. All right. I think I'm okay, right? All right. So far, so good. Damn it. All right, I think we're okay. Okay, nobody go fucking near me, please. Are you guys idiots? Are you guys? What happened? Alright, so I guess what happened? Uh, I was... Okay, so... Alright. Alright, whatever man. No one wants to fucking... Whatever. I have no idea what they're arguing about. The range was closer than I thought. All right. Yeah, they're like arguing amongst themselves. All right, so I guess there's a bleed effect that took everyone out, but the, I don't know who's arguing with who. But yeah, like, people are pointing the finger. Alright, so that's why those people died last time, because they stayed there. Alright, I think we got this. Okay. So I'm going to have to remember, next time it starts glowing gold, I, that's when I should do my raid wide. I thought they were going to follow up again, but um, that would help, I feel like. Maybe.
Okay, so that would have been a time to do it. Um, the other tank's not really helping out with those, I guess. Um, it's kind of hard with the Paladin one. It kind of requires that you're, like, next to him. Like, you actually, like, have to legitimately, like, block him. Fuck, I put a shield down, but I I uh, mistimed it again. You could do Passage of Arms. Alright, so I'm not fucking moving. Are you fucking kidding me? Yet again. Main tank has to fucking take all the fucking damage, because no one wants to move. God damn it, dude. You guys do not fucking help at all. Like, no one wants to move anywhere. They're just like, not my fucking problem. Oh, that, that shit right now is like actually starting to really fucking piss me off with this group. Alright. No, I'm not fucking moving, you morons. Yeah, like... So, I still took a stack, somehow, I guess. Yeah, whatever, man. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be my last one. I'm gonna call it a night after this. So what's behind me? Are you fucking kidding me? I still got... Dude, this one is bullshit. Oh my god. Oh, both tanks died. Great. Dude, get the fuck away. Oh, 
Yeah, this one sucks. Yeah, this guy just like um this enemy just hits really fucking hard even on their like their regular attacks um so yeah it's just kind of hard to stay alive and then like i got this team like they're like bickering amongst each other and like no one wants to move out of the fucking way or spread out um yeah so um Alright, so this time I'm moving. Dude, get the fuck out of the way! You guys are idiots. Yeah, I'm, I'm so happy to be done with this soon. Um, hopefully. Let's burst them down. Yeah, it's not like it's like the worst one, but like... I'm just noticing, like, I get it, there's not, like, a lot of room, but, like, I mean, no one's trying to fucking meet me halfway. Like, they see that I'm, like, you know, I'm trying to, like, like, do my part, and, like, I just don't really feel like I was getting that from anyone else. Alright, so what is this gonna be? Alright. Alright. Oh, you guys, you guys move the fuck out of the way when I do this. Dickheads. Uh, I'm not actually salty. I'm just like, really, I needed to end like seven minutes ago. It's my fault. I probably shouldn't have picked this one up. Um, and then I guess like it just, you know, it's just kind of annoying when you see like people bickering in the, in the fucking chat about like, you should have used regen. Like, come on, guys. All right. All right, so I'm going to try and get this armor. We'll see. I'm gonna roll needs on my armor, um, and then I'll say pass, 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 and then I guess I can't get anything else. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not giving it to any of you. You guys piss me off. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I don't know who was at fault. Who was the one that was like actually? calling out the healer but yeah straight up like i i saw like even as a new player i saw like people there there were multiple mistakes that i saw were being made and like to put it on any group i don't, I don't like that um the moment ag dis uh, distis was slain the flow of aether and pandemonium focused keenly on this location creating a tunnel of sorts through which we could quickly uh convey ourselves was almost as if we were ushered here this place was created with care and concealed with powerful wards only a key ward would have been able to detect it and even then with great difficulty agdistis if only I could restore t uh, Tartaros to order, but I'm afraid this is the most I can manage with such power as remains to me. It's been too long, Master La Habrea. Likewise, keyword Agnes Distis. Uh, I should not be surprised you were able to break free of uh, Hephaestos' spells, even diminished as you were. Twas not an easy task, even with your aid. His curses, uh, curses dig into one's heart. Jeez. Well, that sucks. Sorry, my nose is starting to run. Hope it's not a nosebleed coming on. 
um, uh, creating a storm of emotions that is all too easy to become lost in, only by chance did a fragment of myself remain, illuminating a path through the madness. And thus I am able to appear before you now, even while my body was powerless to resist Hephaestos' command, some small part of my logical mind stood alone in defiance, and even managed to speak to the outside world. The report, that was you. Got it, that's what that was. I thought I was there, uh, was it somehow like Athena. Doubtless you recognize my voice from the many times I have called out to you. The hope that those pleas did not fall in deaf ears was all that kept me from succumbing to the hopelessness. So this is the person who's been calling out to us. But I have a greater purpose here than simply saying my farewells. There is something you must know. The tragedies of the past do not repeat the present. Forgive me for what I am about to do, Master Labre, but the story must be told. Tis the only way to understand Hephaestos' fixation on Eric Thonios. No longer can you hide your heart away. So, is it possible that La Habrea was actually like stricken with grief uh, over the, the death of Athena? That he actually cast out that side of himself so he didn't have to deal with those mo emotions? And then that's why Hephaestus, uh, the mask marks him as La Habrea. Master La Habrea had brought an end to Lady Athena's life and sealed away a part of his memories and emotions within Hephaestus. These are my recollections of the moments following. And you truly have no intention of revealing the truth to Eric Thonios. My lesser half is now buried where none can find it. We would be wise to do the same with our memory of this day. Blood shall not uh, sway the spirit so, but Athena's teaching have warped the boy. I fear he would see our star burn to keep his mother safe. Eric Thonios believes that he feels love, but he is shackled by dependence. He could not bear the truth. His dependence makes it all the more important to be open with him. He will seek answers about his mother's loss, which shall inevitably lead him to you. Are you willing to accept the blame for Athena's death? Are you willing to accept your son's hatred? If that's what comes to pass, then so be it. Better to be burdened with hatred than the knowledge that Athena thought his body and soul were so thought his body and soul mere tools to be used and discarded. Even were I to tell him what his mother plotted, he would ever seek reasons to believe that the true fault lies with me or with him. Should he merely hate me, he will remain unfettered by doubt, free to serve the star from his parents' shadow. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we probably should have waited to do this one, honestly. Because um, now I'm, I'm like super late. But it's okay. Eric Thonios loved his mother more than life itself. And yet, what a dreadful truth you've borne all this time. Such is La Habrea's nature. Every action, every word is a solution to life's great dilemmas and none despair for his own. What I have revealed to you is but a small portion of a larger picture. I shall leave it to La Habrea to paint the rest for you and, and for Eric Thonios, I hope. Thank you, uh, Agdistus. I always admired you, you know. What choice did I have when you sacrificed so much to guide our star to the heavens? She was in love with you. Hephaestos has doubtless sensed that his final keyword has fallen. We should return to the surface before he moves to strike us here. If we are to face him, we must be prepared to bring our full strength to bear. Oh, 
All right. Cool. That's pretty, pretty neat. <laughs> 